Hey guys, here we are today. I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to put together this uh, engine house exhaust stack the way I, I did it. Um, I did this kit because I'm doing a um, one for myself on my home layout. Uh, I was needing a, an exhaust stack. There's not any commercially available that I could find. So I kind of went with what I could, uh, materials I could find locally. And I do a lot of vacuum forming. So um, I made some parts and um, it turned out pretty good. Um, what you end up with, in the, this is the end product here. I'm sorry, it don't fit all in the lens at one time. But anyway, uh, the top, you can make that permanently. I, I, I actually knocked it off earlier. So anyway, um, in the kit comes a piece of the it's a PVC pipe. Um, you've got uh, three shallow, I guess you call them cowls type things. Um, you got the top and then you got the uh, the bottom here. Um, these are really easy to do this. Uh, 030 um, styrene. All you have to do is when you get, get, get these, it comes just like this. It's been vacuum formed on, a, on a, uh, the original mold. And all you have to do is you mark, um, let's see, on the deep one, the one that goes on the bottom here, uh, you have to mark right along the top edge here and um, cut it out right along that edge. And once you get it cut out, you can take a sanding block and just sand that to kind of even it up really nice if you don't do such a good job cutting. Now the bottom here, you cut it um, down on that lip about an eighth inch or sixteenth inch and cut this lip all the way off all the way around. This is the finished one here. Um, the pipe you have, this it fits right over it, so it that one's ready to go on there. Um, now, there's three um, pieces like this. You have one that that kind of goes a little ways down. It's just right over the roof to kind of uh, direct water off of the roof where the, the the exhaust stack goes through, and then you have two more of the exact same thing that uh, I have cut, what you do is you cut them and you cut it really nice and close there so they actually fit on top of each other and it fits right at the, at the top of the exhaust there. So um, let me go ahead and cut one of these out and I'll show you what it looks like on the, um, on the tube itself and we'll continue on from there. Okay, here we are back. I've got all the parts cut out. Um, what I was going to show you real quick is um, you can see how much of a lip is on. This is the, the low profile flange. Um, how much of lips on there. I kind of cut it and then freehand it down and you can see how short I've made this lip. It's just barely um, any vertical on it. It's just enough to keep it nice and tight on the pipe itself. It slides right down on there pretty tight. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you a quick way Here's a sanding block, and if you're not just the uh, best, do, do the best job cutting, you can take this and take your hand and lay it flat on there and sand it. If you keep your hand flat, or keep whatever flat, you can move it back and forth and sand it that way. The bottom also, if you keep your hand nice and flat on the top, it'll allow you to sand that nice and flush um, to get you a good flat surface around there and kind of even it up all the way around. Um, the deep flange here, um, on the pipe that you get, one side's kind of uh, tapered here. It just makes it easier to slide this on. This is the bottom one. It comes all the way down. It's the deep one. And you slide it down. I just mark it where you like it because you can, it, this can kind of help you adjust the height of it also. But anyway, you want to um, move that down in place where you want and then mark it so you'll have it for later. Um, then, like I said, the first flange coming down is more or less just right above the roof line. This keeps the, would would have kept the water off of the um, the seam or more where it came through the roof. And then the other two pieces here, they're they're the exact same one. What I've done is I kind of put it on there. This is a trial fitting. I stick it on, and then um, I take the next one and I slide it on, and I kind of keep rotating it until they're the closest because these were made by hand, but um, I kind of marked them here 
where they met the best. And what I do is I uh, kind of mark the location there. And what you, the way I did this, I used uh, CA glue, and I would glue just this lip right here. And then what I did was I kind of worked my way around gluing it. So my, I met, it met all the way around and gave me a, a kind of have to uh, manipulate a little bit to give you a good seam all the way around. And once I got that glued, I then went back and sanded it with like some 220 grit paper to clean up that edge. And that gave me the uh, bulge here on the stack itself. Um, so that's pretty much how it goes together. That's pretty easy. Now, you do have a cast resin piece. That's for your um, dome here or your top. Um, now, I've already pre-glued this. This is, is a cast resin piece without these little legs on it. Without, I mean, without the little tabs on it. Um, what this does, this fits right inside the, um, the, sta the top of the pipe there. Oh, excuse me, the top of the pipe. This just gives you, I mean, a little something to glue it on with. There, in the kit, there's a little strip of styrene, probably about that long, just wide enough for these legs here. You just glue a piece on the inside. And then this sets on top there. And then this sits on top there. And then this, this glues on top of that. It just gives you a holder for that, the, the top dome there. Um, oh crap. Anyway, um, once you get it all together the way you want it, I went back with a um, uh, self-etching primer. That, that'll, uh, now this here, the pipe, I, I will go ahead pre-sand the whole thing with some either steel wool or some um, really you know 220 320 grit paper but then I, I shoot the whole thing with a self-etching primer let that dry that gives you good adhesion the paint good adhesion to the pipe itself and the, the styrene and then I go back and I shoot I shot this with the uh, I think it was a rust-oleum camouflage black so that, that that gives you a good black color I haven't added any rust yet I'll, I'll do that later I just wanted to quickly show you how this went together. Um, it doesn't take long to put together. It probably takes me 20, 15, 20 minutes to get the whole thing um, up and going. But like I said, you can tell there's a difference here in the height of the stacks. This one, I, this was one of the early ones and I just, I had cut it. Uh, this one's almost, I think almost 14 inches. And this one here, um, I think it's cut down to about 12. So anyway, um, I hope these instructions help you get it together. Um, I hope it, um, does well for you on your uh, on your engine house and uh if you have any questions feel free to contact me through tiesplanes.com thank you very much and thank you for watching the video